Whoa. Hey guys, check it out! The Trident of Neptune from the Noble Collection. Aquaman's Trident from Justice League. I really, really wanted to get my hands on this. I can't believe that my local EB Games actually had it because we don't always get the really cool stuff, but here it is. And I got a funny feeling I'm gonna be like one of the only people, if not the only person in town that has the giant salad fork. Oh, I can't wait. Let's open it up and take a little peek -a at it. Wait, 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 you're probably gonna wanna see the box too. So let's do the slow motion upsy downsy. Got the packaging right there. It actually looks very reminiscent of the packaging that you would see on the Mezco 112th Collective Aquaman. All the way down. And you can see it comes in three pieces, so there's some assembly required. But that makes sense, right? I mean, it's just easier to package it in a three-part thing. Why am I not being Aquaman for Halloween? Oh yeah, I'm not buff enough. At least I have his trident. But if I ever get buff enough, then I will have an authentic trident of Neptune to portray the king of the seven seas. Oh, this thing needs a sharp utensil. And of course it's way over here, offset. Why wouldn't it be? Alrighty then. Cutting the tape. And, oh, it's just the one. I'm used to there being all kinds of tape and stuff like that because of action figures. I'm gonna back up so that you can see more of what I'm doing here. So, sliding it out of the box. Whoa! That thing's huge! Uh, uh. Get out of the... Get the... That's it? That's everything? Yeah. So all three pieces are there and contained. And my favorite, twist ties. Yeah! Nothing else. Goodbye, box. <sighs> Where are my snips? They're way across the basement in my office. All right, so let's snip these off without scratching the trident. And now we have one, two, three pieces to screw together. All right, here we go. Screwy, screw, screw. Screwing it together. Wait a minute. That's going to be a little bit short. Yeah, I think I'm doing it wrong. Mm. Ha, screw this. But yeah, so the trident seems like it's predominantly made out of wood and plastic, but these bits actually screw together. I should probably show you that, shouldn't I? So the trident is made out of wood and plastic. The part that you would grab onto being the handle right here, and this whole piece right here, and the bottom of the uh, top piece right here, it's all made out of wood, and the rest of it is made out of plastic. So the decorative bits being the bottom and the actual fork, they're all made out of a plastic. And the way that this fits together, you have a metal piece here that it kind of screws into like that, and then you have a bottom piece there. So it's classically known as male and female, and you just screw the male right into the female like that. It's taking forever. And then you'll do the same thing in right here, which will take forever. Not really, it's just when you're filming, you want things to kind of go by a little bit quickly because people get bored, which is why I'm talking right now to fill in the space. <laughs> Awkward. All right, when all's said and done, you have a trident that doesn't fit on camera. Damn! Okay, so now I've backed you up. I should be able to fit the whole trident in frame. And here's what we got. This is really something cool. You know what? There's a lot of like distractions and stuff. So maybe I'll snap a few pictures as well and stick them in right here. So as you can see, this thing is huge. It's really tall. It's pretty much as tall as me. So you're looking at about uh, just under a six foot two tall trident. This thing is massive. So if you're a cosplayer and you know, you're into Aquaman and you really are looking for something that's going to be sturdy and you can take to the conventions and you're not going to be afraid of it snapping or breaking. The construction of this is actually really sturdy. I mean, you can't go trying to take down any Krakens with it, okay? It ain't real and it certainly doesn't have any magical properties, but it definitely is very cool looking and it'll make your cosplay look that much better. This is a really, really, really great prop replica. A really, really great prop replica piece. Absolutely.
All right, so now that we're back in the house and all the shenanigans in the backyard have ended, I guess I'll give my final thoughts on the Trident of Neptune here. I really, really like it. I think if you're an Aquaman fan, if you're an Aquaman cosplayer, or if you're a DC generalist and you're just looking to build some sort of trophy room, this is going to be the trident that you're going to want to consider picking up because it's simply magnificent. And I looked at a whole bunch of them online and this was the one that caught my eye. And then, like I said, wouldn't you know, I actually found one at my local EB Games. Th that just doesn't happen. It, that's a daydream. I usually have to order things in. So if you want this trident, I say get your butt down to EB Games ASAP and see if they have one there because they won't get very many of these, which means if you don't get there soon, another Aquaman fan might get there before you and snap it up. And then you'll have to order it online and pay shipping and also secondary market prices, which you don't want to pay secondary market prices for something like this. They're going to be expensive. But really, if you're somebody who wants to use this for cosplaying and you want to take it around for a couple days, maybe you go to New York Comic Con and you're there for the entire time walking the floors, this is going to be the trident that will go with not only your movie Jason Momoa Aquaman, but you could probably actually use this as well with just about any of your Aquaman cosplays and it's going to look just as fantastic. But yeah, these are just the thoughts and opinions of one collector, one DC fan, and I'm sure that you would have your own. Leave it down in the comment section below what you think about this trident of Neptune because I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so I know that hopefully I'm doing something right for you folks. And then finally, if you'd like to see more of my content, which I do a lot of action figure reviews, but it's all DC content, if you'd like to become a subscriber to this channel, then just hit that button and doink the bell. Of course you hit the button to become a subscriber. The button says subscribe. Anyway, and with that, I think we're done. So thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, super friends, and take care. Whew!